I'm Haley here at the Gibson Jam Room to talk to rapper, poet, and activist Kanon about his upcoming album, Country God Are the Girl, set to drop this spring. She rose again to dope as Ethiopian, in other words, she came to exploding in the podium, dynamite, Napoleon, like sodium mixed with petroleum. You've had a whirlwind of accomplishments the past few years in both music and social activism. What does it all mean for you? It just means kind of life's work in a way, just doing what we do what we love doing and to be honest if there's anything that you're doing it's got to be something that you're truly enjoying and it, even the idea of activism seems such like a selfless concept but I, I do it because I really enjoy doing good things. Did you just know that you had these beautiful messages that you wanted to tell the world so you expressed it through music or did you find music first and then the messages and stuff came out of that? I think it might be the latter. I don't think I set out thinking I'm going to do something good. Something comes out of music that in, when filtered through my personality or my, my life or my experiences comes out in that way that you describe. They tried to take you from me, but you still only gave them some prayers and sympathy, dear mama. You have some amazing collaborations coming up. Well, you've had some amazing collaborations on your EP and on your yeah. album that's coming up. So can you tell us about those? On the EP, there is the single with uh, myself and Nelly Furtado, who's a great friend. And then there's Nas, who's uh, like a hero of mine, who I got to work with on the song Nothing to Lose. Hey, history never accepts. So we triumph. So we triumph. Hey, hey, you got nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. And then on the album, uh, I've, I've worked with some of my idols and, and, and legendaries like uh, Bono of U2 and uh, Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones. Uh, if we were to just not waste all the five minutes of having to talk about the humility that is working with people like that put all that aside and the truth about it is that when we're in the song i forget who they are we try to do what the song wants us to do and and no, nobody then is bono and you know and so on and it, it, we're just like servants of the song at that point Your album is called The Country God or the Girl. Yeah. Okay, so what does that mean to you? It's just about the, the central themes of my new work. And yeah, that's the question that's left up to the audience on this record. And interestingly enough, the way that I wrote the songs, on first listen, you think it's about one or the other. And then like you listen again, and you don't quite know which of the three it's about. It's called Country God or the Girl. The album comes out in the spring just good songs and uh, I hope you enjoy it It's finally here the new hip hop official app for iPhone and it's better than ever be a part of what's next with hip hop official the only app that brings you the sights, sounds, flows, and styles of hip hop, rap, and R&B, all on your iPhone for free. Yes, free. Get it today. Search Hip Hop Official free in the App Store.